what's poppin? It's Bay, and I hope you're having a wonderful day, and welcome back to Chernobylite. With this fine day, we're gonna be meeting my wife in Linen Square. So, let me click open the binoculars, because I want to name some binoculars. Um, and we're going to Patton Central. Ghosts of the Linen of the Past at Legend Squ Le Le something Square. Food drop, food drop, food drop. They're all, like, basically food drops, but... Um, let's just do one there, and then let's do supply drop. And he's gonna do the supply drop. Yep. Alright. Let's do these missions. Let's go! Um, in the last episode, what did we do? Oh yeah, we went back to an old mission that we did up in episode 2, but because we rebuilt and changed the timeline a little bit through episode, uh... Uh, six or seven, um, we had to redo the mission. So, yeah, it was interesting. It was very interesting going back to a really old mission again. Um, but we're finally getting to the future, I guess. Um, hopefully this time around we won't have to change the, the past again. Because I, I kind of sadly lost one of my followers d due to that fact. For some reason. I don't know why I lost him, but I did lose him. Um, come on, game. Load up. Have I ever been here before? Uh, he... Yes, I've actually been here before. Okay. I was kind of confused for a second. I don't like how foggy it is. Um, Blocksmith, Venabog. Alright. Let's scan some stuff real fast. See what type of lootables are in this area. There is zero. There is none. Oh, I found some loot. Let's grab that, but it's in radiation. God. Uh, still want it, though. I don't give a shit about the radiation. I've been here before, but it's been a very long time. Holy shit. That scared that jibbis out of me. Ooh, I got stuck in a wall. Okay, there we go. Luckily, I did not die. Hey, the little green shitheads. Look at these goofy all oh, guys. I hate them. Ooh. They're creepy. They creep me out. And last one goes down without a fight. Easy peasy. Lemon squeeze. Alrighty then. Let's f grab. Man, that guy looks like he's ready for a good time. God damn. His ass is prepped and ready. What? You know what? I'm not going to question myself. I say and say things all the time. Oh, it's just a locker room that was never able to access before? Oh, yes it is. Did not have much. Kind of a shame. This is a note that I've never found before. Take my picture, oh, Igor. yes it is. Do it now. Sure, sure. What's got into you? I want you to remember this moment. Yeah. Keep it close to your heart. Whatever happens, we are connected. We belong together. Of course. You're my fiance. And <laughs> that's not what I meant. Huh? Never mind. Okay. I guess it's finally time to I guess re meet my wife again. I remember this roof. I was here the first mission I ever did. Hell yeah. Okay. Apparently I've never explored here before because I didn't even know this is ex exist. Yeah. Exist. Okay, that's new. Uh, I don't know what that says. That's some type of Russian. Let's pick lock this. I want that AK-47. Hell yeah. And a bunch of ammo for it, too. Okay. Wife, I'm here. Oh, suitcase. Is this bullet holes? Uh, 
the Policia Hotel, former symbol of communist luxury, now a relic of bygone glory. If you say so, too. Yeah. Party apparatchiks used to stay here whenever they visit Pripyat. It gave them a great view of the power plant and the surrounding area while they were checking up on things. The master's eye makes the horse fat, as they say. But it didn't quite work out that way. No, it did not. After the disaster, this place became a hub for the liquidators. They coordinated the helicopter operations from the roof, gave orders, hmm. and watched the Mi-6 drop sand and boric acid into the reactor. The only sensible thing to do. Do you think the party bosses were on site? Or maybe they were too afraid of radiation? Do they cower behind mahogany desks in their spacious offices in Moscow? Some of them did come to Pripyat. There are rumors that even Gorbachev stood on this roof once. He must have thought long hmm. and hard about the policies he was trying to introduce. Perestroika, glasnost, a token amount of transparency and freedom of speech. After all, state secrecy, censorship, and forced economic planning led to this disaster. But it was too little, too late. Even the truth couldn't save us by that point. Politics was never a business for telling the truth. Damn. That's why I stick to science. And what about us, Igor? Can we survive our truth once you find it? Meet me on the hotel roof. Okay. I don't... I, I, I never explored this building before. I don't even know if you could originally. But I guess now you can. I'm just getting... I'm getting my, my, my handgun ready. Just in case anything decides to pop out. There's a generator here. Oh shit, the elevator still works after like 30 years after Chernobyl? Damn, okay. Oh man, look at that view. Hold up. Hardly pretty, even though I can't see anything. Oh, there's a note here. Where are we going for our honeymoon, Igor? Oh. Honeymoon? You did start planning it, right? Uh, of course, I have. No, he has not. I, uh... No. So? I was thinking of uh, Sochi, Yalta, perhaps Gagra. Gagra? <laughs> the Soviet Monte Carlo for party apparatchiks? Over my dead body? Uh, all right, all right. Sochi it is then. Okay, I don't know where any of those places are, but yeah. Wife, you in here? Hello. There's a ham radio. Let's look at this thing. Let's see if they find anything cool. Nope. Nothing different about it. Remember the disco at Energetic? <laughs> How could I forget? I was the worst dancer on the floor. Even yeah. in my younger years, I was always a bit stiff. <laughs> That's not true. Besides, you had a great partner to lead you. Me. And the disco balls? Ugh, it was great. Mm, balls. The lights. The beat. Ugh, the atmosphere. I remember. Yeah. It had a funny name. I don't. But like an old I don't at all. Edison. Edison, too. Right. But Energetic was way more than a disco. It had a library, swimming pool, cinema. Yes. I took you to see a Georgian movie about a young guy traveling around villages, collecting folk songs and music. Ah, and what was it called? The Journey of a Young Composer. <laughs> it was a masterpiece. Ah, beautiful music. A funny story. It had everything. <laughs> I know. You made me watch it, like, three times. <laughs> Oh, I was so happy, Igor. Back then, even if not everything was okay, I could always lean on you and forget my cares. When we arrived in Pripyat, before the incident, ah, that was the happiest time of my life, Tanya. Oh, yeah. Those sunny days. Do you think we will ever see them again? Can Let's hope go so. back, Igor? Is it even possible? I'll make it possible. Do you hear me, my love? Tanya? Come along, Igor. We're not done yet. Damn. Um, where are we going next? 
Oh, we're going back to the helicopter crash. Okay, then. Um, holy moly. Uh, this storyline's taking an interesting turn. I guess I'm talking to my... I don't know if dead wife is the right word, because I don't know if she's dead or alive. I don't know which. Um, but... I know for a fact, uh, I don't know where she is, and I'm talking to her somehow. Somehow the ghost. The ghost of my wife. Okay. Wife, you around this helicopter? No, you're not near the helicopter. You're near someone, something else. Ooh. This was not here la when I was here last. Hello? Um, I do not believe I was supposed to be up here. Um, you know what, before I try doing what I'm going to quickly do, I'm going to save right here. Um, does this lead outside? No, it does not. I thought this, for a second, I thought this led outside the map. And I was about to, I don't know, try to jump out the map. Um... Oh, I see a crate now. There's a crate over here. Hold up. There's a lootable thing here, too. What's inside this crate? Let's see. Nope, shit. How do I... Oh, that's how I get there. Yeah, it's just a revolver. Alright. Nothing too interesting, but interesting enough, I guess. Um, oh, here's the note thing. Ferris wheel. The Pripyat Amusement Park oh. had the autodrome. Oh, wow. Paratrooper, swing boats, and the famous Ferris wheel. I know it was hmm. just a distraction, but I wish we'd gotten to ride it at least once. See the city from the air one last time before our world collapsed. Yeah. It never had a chance to open. It was doomed from the start. A pretty dream. Just another type of opium for the masses, to paraphrase the classic. Our Professor Kimunik always focused like a laser beam. God forbid he ever be distracted by frivolity or fun. You've always thought very highly of yourself, haven't you? You concern yourself only with the serious, scientific problems, uncovering the secrets of the universe, measuring the fabric of reality, grasping the order of things, the ultimate truth. You look Damn. down on the little people simply living their boring, workaday lives. Admit it, you despised those people, hated everyone who couldn't match your level of thinking. No, no, I, n I never. That's now what this is about. It's just that people are huh? chaotic, disorganized, unreliable, unpredictable. While physics and mathematics, science, never lets me down. Even in the huh. darkest of times, I can always rely on their simplicity, clarity, beauty. What role did I play in this life of the mind? Was I a distraction from your lofty goals? A destructive force tearing down your orderly life? What's your truth about us? No. This man having like a, a crisis. You were different, inspiring. Oops. I, I embraced you. You've been my reason to live, to work. You were and always will be my little chaotic dancing star. Damn. That's the truth, even if it's only my truth. Wife, where did you go? You went over here. Chernobyl life. I guess we're done with that. Do we complete the mission? I guess so. Oh wait. There is a single point of interest left. I'm gonna go check that out. There you go. The interest listening on their conversation, but uh, I need to put them out of their misery. Um, are they transporting? Uh, those do not look like, um, human... Those do not look like animal carcasses. Those look like human carcasses. Well, I was going to watch battles. Let's go on home. Bring your Morty gun. Let's go. For the win. Oh, he lost more health. Rip. And Mahal is fine. Let's go into feeding day. Let's feed ourselves all normal rations. No need to conserve them. Aurelio is now healthy. And that is Kimo Green. So, 
I think I'm actually going to end this episode here because well, I've been recording long enough and I feel like uh, we left out on a pretty good note. So, um, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please, please, please consider subscribing, liking, and coming below. And with that being said, peace.